Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And today, this is another um, Get Fit With Me series. And we found another YouTuber to review their yoga session. And I'm excited because it's something that I kind of always want to check out. And this is by Yoga, um, by Yoga with, so Yoga by Bioba. Um, and um, she has an African name, so I don't want to murder it or butcher it, but I do know it's Yoga by Bioba. And um, the yoga we're going to give a try it is a much longer yoga routine than what I would normally do on the channel, but because it is so niche, I want to check it out. And it's something that she herself created. So it's her own version of yoga that she created. And she actually has classes if you are in her area. Um, and I would go on her channel, check out more of her stuff to see where she's at to do these classes. Um, and what we're going to be doing is trap vinyasa. So we're going to be doing high energy yoga for once, but it's trap vinyasa. So... I imagine, I don't know, I, okay, maybe I know a little bit, because I did cheat a little bit, look at the intro to see what, where the trap was at in it, because I was like, okay, we're using trap, but I want to know what this is about. I want to know how trap is it. Are we twerking? What are we doing? Are we adding that in with the yoga? And if we are, I got to see how this gets put together. And you know me, I don't need to just see it. I want to do the routine and then we review it. So it's going to be something much different than what I would normally do. You're going to see me twerking a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I just have a feeling that's why it's there, the trap part. But um we're going to, well, mother ado, we're going to get into it. We're just going to get right into the business of it all. And yeah, I got nothing else left to say. Say less. So she starts to practice off in a comfortable seated position and um, within that we're going to be basically warming up our arms, just moving them around, getting ready for um, the, this vinyasa practice. Part of the warm up we are going to do a gentle twist on both sides also as we are seated um, as well. And next, before we really, really get into it, we're um, basically going to be, this is a portion where we're setting our attention for the practice. Um, so we're doing like the namaste hands um, to the um, crown chakra and then to our mouth and then to our heart. And we're going to also conclude the practice that way as well. So spoiler, spoiler alert. From setting our intention, we do transition over to a boat pose, and she also does um, show different variations of how you could do the boat pose. I started one variation, I changed the variation, then I went back to the other. It really just depends on how strong your core is, which variation you go with, or how you're feeling um, while you're doing it. So do whatever makes you feel good, though. What, next, what you see me doing, it might look like I'm struggling a little bit because I kind of was, and also I wasn't sure where Whisper was at when I was doing this. She basically has us do like boat, like um, 
crunches essentially where we hover our feet down um, when we go down and then go back up to a bow. And yeah, you could tell I wasn't doing the very best in this, uh, but I was trying. And um, yeah, which is why you should never follow me and go directly to the main channel that I am I'm reviewing. Next, we are in a tabletop position, but with the tabletop position, we're basically going to be kind of rotating our hips. And this is kind of where the trappedness of the vinyasa starts. She really wants us to rotate, like almost like gyrate, if you will, and you know, get ready for all the all the things we're going to be doing in this practice. Doing the rotations, we then are now going to start um, where we stretch our, um, first our right leg out and kind of do like a little bit of a balancing pose. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Um, just getting, again, getting ready, getting nice and loose. Alrighty, now that we've done that on both sides, and I would say that that balancing pose was kind of like, I would say like a kneeling um, side ankle pose on each side. Um, we are now going to then do a little bit of a child's pose, very briefly, but really transitioning over where we're in a, a yoga squat or um, frog pose. And this is where the magic <laughs> starts to happen. <laughs> Don't mind my weak twerking, but like my knees are not as like strong as this yoga instructor who's doing this. So I had to kind of do a variation, kind of make it to make the stallion dance because otherwise I don't know how I was going to do this. But the fact that I'm doing this at my great age, child. So from that pose, we then transition over to a downward facing dog, but we keep going back and forth with this plank, but it is a twerking plank. And child, I was trying to like make, make my thing thing, but it was not thinking the way I would like it to. I was actually kind of slim today um, of doing this versus being slim thick. I kind of need thickums for this, particularly on the back side, but hey, it is what it is. From doing that little bit of variation of twerking, we're gonna then um, transition to three-legged dog. And um, from there, the yoga practice is kind of back a little bit to being a normal yoga practice, but kind of not. <laughs> You're about to find out what else we have in store here. So we're basically going to be in a lunge on both sides, just like we're gonna do that three-legged three dog on one side, um, on each side, kind of making a sequence. And once we are in that lunge pose, we then are going to be basically doing kind of what we did at the very beginning of the practice with our arms, getting it warmed up. I, and I probably will mention this, I think I do mention this in a video, I am cutting um, some of this out. Um, so one of the things we did do is there is a lot of transitioning um, from one side to the other, which um, I will be honest, that part was a little bit more difficult for me to follow. 
but um, because it was such a fast moving um, vinyasa. But also to the other thing I did want to call out and mention is that um, we basically do this thing where we do like that gate pose um, where um, we're like on our knees kind of doing like the um, side angle pose, um, if you will. Also getting back into the downward facing dog and then plank um, variation where the twerking happens. Yes, that is part of a sequence. <laughs> just in case you're wondering. But from there, we do end up um, doing another lunge on the other side, and then we basically are in um, a warrior two, and then a humble warrior, and we're gonna be doing that both sides as well. Once we are um, in the warrior two, we then transition over to a star pose, and this is where we're going to be doing a lot more twerking. Oh yes, we're gonna have more twerking here, and we're also gonna swag surf. So yeah, <laughs> again, it is trap vinyasa, not just vinyasa here today. Uh, we were swag surfing a little bit of the nay nay and then also twerking in this little sequence for about two minutes so I did cut quite a bit of it out but when I tell you little booties matter my little booty was twerking a storm. That sequence we then make our way back to a humble warrior and then back to a lunge and then I believe we're gonna basically do a new sequence again um, next. From the downward facing dog slash twerking um, plank, we then are making our way back into a forward lunge, and then that's where we are repeating the sequence just on the opposite side. That whole entire giant sequence we just did, we're gonna do again. And then after that, we're gonna be basically concluding the practice.
You can tell on this side around because we're doing the sequence again, I was a lot more comfortable, including my twerking was starting to improve too. Cause child, before it was mm, a struggle busting. And I promise I'm good at twerking. It's just, I don't know what it was about the practice. It just wasn't giving what I thought I was gonna give, but it's okay. Even this time around with the star pose, and yes, you're seeing my backside for a little bit. Don't worry, you're not gonna see it too long, but um, basically the swag surfing was a little bit better. And also too, I did cut this out in the first part of it, but part of also what we do here is we also are doing like a kick, like basically we're boxing a little bit. So she did incorporate, even with this practice, a little bit of kick, like not kickboxing, but a little bit of boxing which was really cool too. Um, I just wanted to call it out because I'm pretty sure I cut that out the first bit, so I wanted to call that out. Since this is not OnlyFans, I did cut out quite a bit of how much I was twerking. Again, it was a lot and I was facing camera, so what well, my backside was and yeah, that's that on that. <laughs> We complete the sequence um, we then um, transition do a vinyasa but like an actual traditional vinyasa like we did the first time around but then this time instead of going to downward facing dog we are moving into a child's pose um, aka a resting pose because that was a lot of twerking and a lot of well a lot of work in general <laughs> Next, we are in a tabletop position, but with the tabletop position, we're basically going to be kind of rotating our hips. And this is kind of where the trapness of the vinyasa starts. She really wants us to rotate, like almost like gyrate, if you will, and you know, get ready for all the all the things we're going to be doing in this practice. After going into that lightning pose and again um, doing the namaste between um, your crown, your lips, and then um, your heart chakra, we then are um, going to transition back into a seated pose and we're going to be basically doing a seated forward bend. From a seated forward bend, we then are going to make our way into a wide-legged seated forward bend. And she also mentioned about, you know, make sure you move that um, move that um, booty meat out of the way so that you're sitting nice and straight if you possibly can. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I, was, I cackled when she said it. Um, I don't know if you catch me um, laughing a little bit, but I definitely was laughing because she, she said that. I was like, I've never heard a yoga instructor ever say it like that. But hey. It is what it is.
after the Y legged seated, um, after the Y legged forward bend, we then are in cobbler's pose very briefly, and then we're going to transition to lying on our back. And from there, I believe we also are incorporating the happy baby pose because we are getting to a point where we are going to be concluding this practice. We're also incorporating some twists on each side. Um, I will probably. Yes. If you're wondering, did I put a cake there to hide my cake? Yes. I, I put a cake there to hide my personal cake. From the happy baby pose or stirrup pose, whichever way you want to call it, um, we are then transitioning over. Um, and you see, I did do that um, into a reclining cobbler pose. Lastly, um, from the reclining cobbler pose, we are then making our way back up to a comfortable seated position. And this is where we're going to conclude the practice um, with all three chakras as we did at the beginning and also in the middle. Yeah, I kind of kid. Um, we actually conclude the practice nearly rocking. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that concludes the video. And how I would rate this, that was a 10 out of 10. She did that, she did that. And I did find out in the video when you stick around, it actually, she actually tells you um, she, she started this movement and it is her creation. So um, I will say this, when you are watch, following the channel, watching this video, it's, it's gonna be chopped and screwed by quite a bit because it is something she created and so it's hers. And so I don't want to be, you know, looking like I'm trying to do her stuff. I, I'm just trying to review what she has going on. I'm still trying to do what I normally do. So I am gonna chop and screw it to be respectable, of course. And I do that with all the videos anyway, but this one I'm probably gonna chop, chop it up a little bit more. And also it was quite long. And also too, I was twerking a lot. I was right. The theory was I was gonna be twerking and didn't disappoint. Your girl was twerking. And I also realized looking at her, flat booties matter. <laughs> Little booties matter. I do not have a big booty. Um, I thought I did, but I don't. It's a little booty. Um, they comparison to hers. Um, I, I got some meat though. I got some meat back there. It's just a little. But anyway, a little booties matter. Remember that. But um, I, yeah, it was, it, it gave me so much energy because I still have things to do. I'm um, even though it's in the evening, I actually still need to go grocery shopping and basically get myself ready to start working again tomorrow because I've been on vacation. So I need to get myself ready to go for that. And I am really energized, as you can tell. I feel like I just had like a shop espresso. That's how good that was. That was good. I was actually kind of getting tired prior to doing that video. And now I'm back to being like, oh, okay, let's, let's go. Let's go do some things. I'm not going to go do some things, but yeah, you get the gist. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to follow more of her videos. And so she's going to be added to the rotation. She doesn't post as much because she actually does have a yoga studio. Um, and she's located in the Seattle area. So those who are watching the channel, if you're in the Seattle area and you want to check out Trap Vinyasa, check her out. And she also did mention at the end of the video, she has a website called trapvinyasa.com. I'm going to go and look into it and see if she has any other videos that isn't necessarily on YouTube. And maybe I'll review those too. Because if she has other videos that isn't on YouTube, but it's just still that, I, I want to review it because I want to lead you to the channel because it is 
Um, all the routines I've done so far, that was completely different than anything I've ever done. And I'm kind of high key upset that I'm gonna need to look and see if it's in my city. Cause right now it's just in Seattle. I wanna see if there's something similar here in Chicago. And I wanna go to a class. She got me inspired. Like I wanna go to another class. I wanna go to a class like that. Cause that looked lit. It, um, now the video that I was um, reviewing and I did, it was just her, but she actually does show on her channel. Cause I did some peeking. Um, I did some reviewing afterwards and looking through her channel she has a class where they're just all twerking and just lit, getting their best life and swag surfing because you saw swag surfing in there too and i was nilly rocking at the very end you know uh, mm, mm, you know doing all that but it's yoga at the same time so it was weird like i was energized but i was zen all at the same freaking time who knew that that can come together as a family but now and then we just be doing this. I, we just do. I can't even help it. That that was amazing. So anyway, you can tell I really enjoyed that video. It was 10 out of 10. I'm going to put the link of that video in the description. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description. And I'm also going to check out her website and then also put that website in the description as well. Because I'm not going to lie that knocked my socks off. I was not prepared. I wasn't ready. I was worried about it first thinking, oh my gosh. And then I got to do a little bit of the Meg the Stallion in there too. Um, <laughs> that um, I guess a lot of people didn't know I could do. Some people already knew that I could do that, but surprise. <laughs> um, anyway, that's all I got for this, for this um, though, because Wow, I gotta go and I gotta go and do some things now. I'm gonna take a shower, get cleaned up, and then, and then head on out the door and, you know, run, run the rest of my errands. But anyway, if you get anything out of this content though, please, or if you don't, even if you just want to follow me to spite me, either way, it's fine. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of this content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Yeah. Bye. And I'm twerking right now, by the way. You can't see it, but your girl is twerking because I am inspired. Bye.